Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Most of my face is done and I know it's a get ready with me, but I have no idea what I'm doing with my eyes. So this might take a while. And I think, uh, 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 I'll say I'll think, I'm gonna just go for it. Is today Wednesday? No, tomorrow's Wednesday. So you know what this video, if I'm feeling inclined to, will go up tomorrow. I think this this should go up tomorrow. If my stars align, I will get my act together and just edit this video. I know in a few videos, might even be my last get ready with me, I mentioned that there's this video that I've been putting off to edit. I still have not done it yet. And basically the video is going to be about like uh, OG products from way back when that were so popular and now I think for the most part now they're just kind of oh. But I am part of the older YouTube generation, so no matter what, there's, there'll still be memories for me. And I did some good products in that one. So if you had seen my previous video, yeah, it's my previous video. I had done this entire like dedicated video to refer on my own accord. I did it myself. I was not obligated to, I was not asked to. But I talked about my refer experience and I stand by everything that I said. There's not many people that I can say I've had great like really great customer experience with, maybe with the exception of one or two smaller businesses. And it's not like I've ever had, I mean, with the exception of some very bad experiences, I've just never really had someone go so above and beyond to make me feel like taken care of, you know? And because investing into businesses, whether it's products or services, it's kind of what you would hope for, right? You're, you're putting your money into something. And I just felt so taken care of with Refer. So if you haven't seen that video and you're interested, it is the video right before this. And at the end of like any of my videos, it'll show the most current at the like credits. So you can just wait till the end to be linked to that video. I started thinking this morning like, gosh dang it, it's a, it's a new year. I'm gonna be a year older. I remember being 13, 12, 13, and just praying like, God, I just can't wait till I'm 16. 16 is gonna be such a cool age. And it's like all these years pass by and now I'm well above 16. More than double that, so. Time goes by so quickly. When you're a kid, time goes by so slowly because you can't wait to like grow up and be that cool teenage years, you know? It might also be because I was watching some NSYNC stuff and I was reminiscing about my youth is. Those of you guys watching, were you Backstreet Boys or NSYNC? Because you were your Backstreet Boys, you need to log off. I'm just kidding. But I will say and stand behind that uh, when it came to like bops for dancing and stuff, I mean, come on, instant kind of one. We could make arguments on both sides for ballads. But yeah, I was just, I was feeling my age and just remembering how badly I wish to have just been 16. Because if I was 16, then I'd be closer to Justin Timberlake's age and he would find me and we'd fall in love. I was the girl for him. He just didn't know it. Man, my brother was, I think he had sent me something a few days ago and it was, it was a performer, okay. Mind you, my, my brother, who's a year younger than me, I was hardcore NSYNC fan, but my brother, he really liked NSYNC, particularly JC, like he was a JC fan. JC's voice is just like creamy chocolate, it's so good. And my brother was always a, a big fan because he was into dancing. And so the NSYNC dance moves at the time were like, you know, they were, they were the shifts. So he's like, hey, hey, check out this performance. And um, I started thinking like, gosh, dang it, Justin Timberlake was such, he was such a handsome guy. He still is, but when I see him at that age, it brings me back to like being young. And the boy was, I mean, he was handsome. It's one of those moments where you look at them and you're like, man, you know what? 
I got good taste. But I know for a fact, like as as much as I loved NSYNC and as much information I still have registered in my old brain, I think my brother would beat me if it came to dance moves and like order of all the different um, soundtrack, not soundtracks, but records because I used to be numbered and you needed another contraption to play the music, you youth people. Oh my God, that reminds me, my brother. <laughs> We were talking was it yesterday or the day before we were talking about it started a conversation about our aunts and then it went into like things that we used to own and memories we used to have as kids and then he brought up that my aunt had bought him a pager and I was like oh my god pager and I knew exactly which one he was talking about because he had a specific one and it was that um it's almost like not turquoise teal-ish Motorola. I'm pretty sure some of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And then I had a like burgundy purple Motorola with a chain. And I'm gonna confess this in front of the whole world. I didn't know how to read pager codes. I knew 143, I knew how to write hello, but I didn't know how to read or write in 90s to 2000s code that was never meant for coding okay it really didn't make sense for me to have a pager i can remember some of my classmates who were like pros at writing messages and stuff i love how i'm doing this like all of us had cell phones i just sucked at it like i just wanted to put it on my hip so people could see i was in the know but i don't know what the hell i was doing i was just like just just tell me if you need me to call you. Send me your phone number and I'll know. <laughs> Even when it came to like cell phones, I'm talking about like the original Nokia's where it looked like you were playing Game Boy. <laughs> and you could change, you could change the covers. Like why do you need to buy a separate case when you can just take off the back of the phone and just change the shell? Climate change. But I used to be pretty decent at playing Snake. Oh, I know. I just opened Pandora's box with that one. But, I mean, what else are you supposed to do on the phone? You have to, like, pay $20 to load so many minutes on it. I was a kid without a job, okay? Sometimes you would use your phone and, like, dial your friend, like, Hey, look, we're, we're talking on our Nokia. Okay, bye. Call me on the, the landline. We really did have it good, you know? I love that I get to experience and remember a lot of what the youth now would consider like old, old school. I lived through it and I loved it, but I also understand like I don't have a hard time using the internet. So I appreciate that I was born when I was. You know, every time I look at this palette, don't you just feel like, man, they're, this color story is certainly making it it's circuit. It makes sense. Rosy tones and Valentine's, they all make sense. But I just like, I feel like I'm seeing it everywhere. I should be getting my packages either tomorrow or the day after. And so I'll have all the products that I ordered from Sephora. And then I also ordered my first Sydney Grace palette and I'm excited. My preference in makeup products definitely leans more high-end to luxury, but I have tried indie brands. I mean, I have JD Glow, I have, you know, Mended Cosmetics. I do have some other brands on my radar, like Cleona, starts with a T, Terra Moon, I think they're called. And Sydney Grace was definitely um, more on the top of my list because I've heard great things about her various formulations because I feel like with JD Glow and Cleona, we're talking like those special, really metallic, foiled, duo multi-chrome um, types of eyeshadows but with sydney grace people just say like her formulation is just straight up good and that's what i want to try so i feel like i should do a wing but i really i don't know it takes a lot for me to want to do a wing now what do you think i think it's just pretty like this forget it i'm not doing it guys where are you guys from because i'm about to talk about something and i don't know if it's like something people do but i don't even think a lot of locals do it my family my whole life i've always known about like 
drying neat. So as we speak, I'm currently, my mom and I, we're, we're drying um, fish. If you guys like fish, you got islanders, I know I've got some island viewers. So we bought parrot fish and my mom like seasons it and stuff. And then we have like a, it's a dryer. <laughs> It's like layers of screen and then it's got like a plexiglass on top and then you put the meats inside and then lock it and then you leave it under the sun to dry and then like flip it a few times. So believe it or not, <laughs> I've, got, I've got some fish drying and so I'm a Jane of all trades. <laughs> Putting on some fancy makeup, some flashy lashes, all the while I'm currently drying fish and I'm wearing my house clothes. I got this at ASOS, by the way. But here we have it. It's the final makeup look. The final countdown. As you guys know, you can check me out on Instagram. That is where I post a photo of, well, I don't want to see all of my looks now because sometimes I skip out on it, but most of my looks, I do post it over there with a full list of products in the caption, but I have also been making it a point to be listing it in the description box of my videos. So be sure to check the description box down below and I'll also be linking all of the products so that it's easily accessible to you guys. But just remember they are magic links, at least the majority of them are. And I do make a small commission out of any purchases that you make and I would like to thank you in advance if you do so. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.